Welcome back to my training vlog, and that's right, you're looking at me snatching again, so this is my first snatch session in months, first actual training session, so I think I've done two random bits of snatching, one with the tier the day I got them, and that one day I did the 110 barefoot in the snatches, but I was watching Gabriel snatching on his Instagram story, and I don't know what came over me, but the, uh, the desire to go snatching, it must have been just the quality of Gabriel lifting. Uh, made me want to come in and do some snatches so I worked up to 100 kilos for sets of three which to be honest sounds like a lot but given that I've been training a lot you know the clean and I've been training the deadlifts and my legs are very strong at the moment it makes sense that the 100 kilo coupled with you know muscle memory and neurological imprinting that the 100 kilos would move pretty well you know I've been doing a lot of mobility the last few weeks a lot of overhead mobility hips, hamstrings, uh, thoracic, all of that stuff. It makes sense that the snatch would feel pretty comfortable. It honestly felt like I hadn't stopped snatching, you know, and it's been about six months since I've done any regular snatching and regular at that time was snatching once a week since August to January-ish. And uh, <laughs> I, uh, I actually could not, I just couldn't, I couldn't even appreciate that the 100 kilos felt so good to myself. So I thought, given this opportunity might not arise again for a long time, I said, let me max up my snatch. And uh, after 100 kilos for triples, I came in on the Saturday and I just worked up to some lighter power snatches. And I was just wearing the tiers just to test them out, the tier weightlifting shoe, the L1. So I've been trying them in for random sessions. The review is coming later this week. And the basically the verdict i'll just let you guys in ahead of time because i know a lot of regular viewers are watching this and you're probably wondering they are a good shoe but they're a very particular shoe so they're really onto something with the design in terms of the width of the shoe and the toe box and it does feel quite good however the heel height is just a little bit too low for what i like in a weightlifting shoe so that's more of a design preference and then there's one slight design a flaw I would call it or issue they need to work on is that the forefoot is too soft and it's actually not noticeable in the snatch and the clean and jerk but it is noticeable in heavier squats that the material used is too soft underfoot and so the real issue for the weightlifting for me is that I would like a slightly higher heel but like we talked about you know this uh, in the legacy trees is that heel was slightly too high so it's really a personal preference and for me I, I kind of went closer to that one inch so then just did a little bit of lighter snatching because I just wanted to feel out uh, how the tear felt, you know, and snatches and really reinforce my, my opinion and thoughts of them. So the weight feels really light on the snatching, like it feels very, very light. And the technique, you know, the, the speed is there and the timing, it's the kind of the first and pull, first pull transition, the dynamic start. The start position I'm using needs a couple of things to work on. And I was talking to Anton about this and some things to change. And he wants, again, more focus on the back, more arch in my back, head up a little bit more in the snatch. I'm a little bit too rounded over. Um, so I will be sure to work on that at the moment. Then I moved on to just some lighter power cleans. So one of the other reasons I was snatching is I had to give the clean and the behind the neck jerk a break in the last week. My elbows and triceps were super inflamed and they were really feeling the volume and the weight from the jerks and the cleans. So I needed to just to lay off the cleans and the jerks a lot. So I moved on to some power cleans and just letting go of the hook grip in the catch position. Uh, as it's uh, obviously easier on the external rotation just to give my uh, elbows a rest and triceps funny thing is though and uh, from jiu-jitsu i had a massive bruise on my right shin and i was super sensitive anytime the barbell touches it and one of the things gabriel or one of the things anton wants on the clean is uh, the barbell actually in really close to the ankle in the start position so jerking from the front is very strange because the rack position is abysmal like the positions are just not super loose so happy with the positions on the power cleans uh, i did some very good power cleans or did very good full cleans on tuesday of this week so lots of triples at 120 so I'm moving nicely so the deload did help a lot uh, again just letting go of that hook grip uh, i'll revisit that at a later time but for now it's just uh, it's not congruent with the pain but so just finished off these a little bit uh, for a couple of sets of 90 kilos so very very light and nothing major because I wanted to max out that snatch. 
on the following day and see what I'd hit after just not training it for months. Given how the 100 kilos felt, I was like minimum of 120 kilos. I had no doubt about that. Uh, but uh, I, I will see if we pushed it a little bit more. So the speed is there on the jerks in the front, which makes sense because I've been doing a lot of behind the neck jerk, but the position is not comfortable, especially with that Shamarkin rack position. <laughs> when I open up my fingertips, rack position all day, barbells there, rack 50 kilos in the bottom, but uh, trying to hold that hook grip is, uh, is a no bueno for the lighter weights. So given that the 100 kilos felt good in the ROM 2s, and I was going heavy. I was like, I'll give myself the best opportunity and I will put on the ROM 2s again. So here you can see a little bit of the shoulders rounding forward. And that's part of the reason Anton was talking about that head up more, arching the back much more aggressively and the chin up to allow the back to follow. You know, if your chin is up, uh, you can f then spine will follow in terms of that uh, extension. And we want that thoracic and lower back extension in the snatch to maintain good positions. So for this, just worked up to... 100 kilos here for doubles and really focusing on sweeping the barbell back towards me off the floor. The start position was a little bit off. I was just trying out a couple of different start positions and uh, just trying to feel what f kind of was the best and see what looks the best objectively. And I must talk to Anton about what is uh, a better start position. But I didn't want to mess up too much. I just kind of went what felt quite good, even though that's not always the best answer. I just wanted to make sure that I was getting the bar moving. So 100 kilos, so a little bit too far behind the barbell because I'm slightly rounded. I'm sitting a bit too low, so more extension would make that position better. But here in this 110, I was like, right, let me unleash the speed. And I was like, this is kind of crazy. You can see me kind of laughing after is uh, how good it feels. So straight to 120, and uh, this was kind of the, the goal. But when I hit the 120, I was like, there's... Surely I was like 125 all day and we'll leave it at 125 if we hit this so quite happy with this uh, One reason I'm a little bit high in the bottom position is I'm actually wearing my knee sleeves and I don't like snatching at knee sleeves But uh, I had them on because I was going squatting after and I'll be honest I just didn't want to take off my shoes and pull up my pants or roll up my pants to put on the knee sleeves So I wore them for the snatching uh, but generally I find it's better uh, You've better kind of proprioception with your knees and you can get a little bit deeper in the bottom position Which is what you want in the snatch so a couple of things to work on, but uh, I'm moving very well overall. Um, <laughs> funny, 15 kilos from 140, so we'll see how fast we can get back to some of the bigger numbers. Then I moved on to week day week four, day one of the back squat program, the RTA. Uh, it is, was 195 for sixes, and the first set felt so shit. It felt terrible, but uh, as we move on, then you can see that they moved a lot better. A little bit of drop in the chest. Uh, but uh, I was fighting for my life just to do these, not from, uh, you know, not that it's a heavy weight per se, but it just needed to get done. And I'm going to start building up on the deadlift again. So I let it go for a little bit, just had a lot of things to focus on and the deadlift just uh, needed to uh, just take a back seat for a small bit. But it is very important for both uh, the clean and the snatch. So good pulling strength. So I'm trying to work it back in. So just worked up to 210 for sets. Now, obviously, these are a bit fatigued after the squat, so uh, it's not quite hitching, but my hips are just popping up a little bit too early. So it's more mimicking the clean pull, which is I don't really want in my head lead deadlifts. Uh, I prefer to have a cleaner deadlift than the heavier ones, although Anton prefers that they look more like clean pulls, which would make sense for this. But uh, I prefer cleaner reps on the heavier deadlifts. And you can see a little bit of thoracic rounding on this, so we just want to work in that position. And uh, realistically, I need to be kind of repping 220 for the clean if I want to clean something heavy. But I also want to be, you know, moving heavier deadlifts. So I think this will be the last training vlog before we begin the trip next week. So big two weeks, two and a bit weeks ahead. You'll see all of the videos and I'm very excited for you guys to see those. If you have any ideas for videos you'd like to see with us, uh, with uh, the lads, Zach and Clarence, uh, you know, feel free to leave them in the comments and we'll uh, sift through them. I know the lads have a lot of uh, a lot of ideas for videos. And the boys will be joining us for some new shows. So look forward to that. And uh, I hopefully will be getting a lot of training in. Um, so I'm going to keep going essentially with the training as it is. I'm just going to kind of not train through, but I will just keep moving the weights. And if I feel good for heavy singles and stuff, like maybe the clean or the snatch or the squat, maybe not the squat. I'll probably go for a rep max in the squat. 
Uh, but I will we'll hopefully have some quality training sessions, but also some good videos as well. And uh, of course, I'll keep going with the training vlogs after we're back from the trip and keep moving towards the bigger goals. So I hope you guys get an idea of how everything's moving and you get some inspiration or some information for your own training. And thanks for everyone for watching and very much appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.